Hey guys, this is Henning Bear and today we're reading Between the Lines in my track Never Ending. So basically, that track, um, I wrote it on, on one machine only. Everything you hear and you're going to hear is uh, written with the Roland SH-101. What I really like about that synthesizer is you can, yeah, you can write whole tracks with it. It, um, you can, you can do bass lines as you can hear right now. You can do kick drums. You can, you can do noise. You can do snare shots. Um, and this is what I was was basically doing with with uh, with Never Ending. It all started with that one 101 bass line you're hearing right now. Um, I was triggering it with either, I'm not sure, the 808 or the 909. And what I, what I did then, um, I added um, a similar um, uh, 101 bass line sound, but it's mainly based on, on the, um, the Roland Echo. In this case, it's a, it's a UAD um, emulation of, of the real machine. I really like it. It's, it's, it, sounds, it sounds very delicious. I think the reverb is, is one of the best um, um, string reverb emulations. I was then trying to get a nice kick drum out of the, the 101. And um, I, I did it the same way. I sequenced the, the pattern of the kick drum on the sequencer of of the the 909 or 808, followed by another bass hit that was also um, coming out of the 101. So I was really I was pretty much playing it um, real time, recording the individual um, sounds, and then it gave this whole track because it came out of this one machine. Um, it gave it this coherent um, 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 feel to it because it was all in the same tuning and it came came together very nicely. Um, and one other main element in the track is this very eerie, I call it the main synth in the track, which I played, which was not triggered which was not sequenced on the sequencer of the 808 or the 909 um, I played it like free by hand and um, because when you when you hear the full track you can you can you hear the whole synth line basically shifting throughout the track so it's and that's why I called the track never ending because um, I think it can go on hours and hours and it there's like this constant change um, because of that main synth is 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 not really in sync with the re rest of the track. Um, and that's why I like this track so much and that's why I wanted to present it today or like go a bit deeper into it and show its simplicity but it's at the same time a certain complexity that comes with the composition of all the elements. But I have to be honest and give the DX7 a little uh, credit because there is a little side role that um, the DX7 played in the track. Um, but that just to, to, to add a certain element that, that, that fades in the track and um, um, uh, gives, us, gives it a little bit more excitement at, at a certain part. Um, and everything um, I have it side-chained with um, a little bit crusher on on a return, just to, to feed a little bit of of dirt to it. Um, I picked the SP1200 um, preset and tweaked a bit the filter section, um, but just to give it give it this little grittiness and. Um, yeah, just layer it under the track to 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 um, to add this uh, bit crusher feeling to the track. And um, another very important um, element in my tracks is um, the EMT 250 reverb from from UAD, which to me sounds very beautiful and. Um, you can hear it in a lot of my tracks. It is not the typical even tight 
techno reverb. It's 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 a different approach when it comes to reverberation, and um, I have it pretty much. It's it's in my 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 template of my of my Ableton sessions. So everything what I just described is basically um, is basically the um, the backbone of the track, and um, it comes together like all these just six individual elements come together in in one track, which I think is is something that potentially never needs to end. If you have any further questions, post them in the comment section and um, I will give you my reply and hopefully can give you a few more answers and insights um, to the track, which I did not cover in what I just talked about.